Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am sharing all of the projects I made during the um, daily scrapbooking or daily crafting challenge that I did in um, February. We, um, I, I, I hosted a challenge on social media, on Instagram to craft every day for an entire month. And we had some awesome people participating on and off or every day or whatever they chose. And anyway, so I made reels and TikToks every day to share my process. So today I'm going to share all of the layouts I made. I And so February was um, 29 days long. I took one day off for a mental health day. I was having a rough day. But otherwise, all 28 layouts, I think, are all here that I'm going to show you that I made in that month, in that series. If you want to see the videos they are on Instagram, I think maybe somewhere on YouTube, Shorts, and TikTok as well. But um, let's just get into it. I'll show you the what projects I made. And then also I'm going to show you what I used up. And my purpose of this was to just get ahead on projects, to use things up. And it did that. It did both of those things. I got a lot done. I think I got about three months worth of documenting done. So I felt really good about that. So um, I'm going to share these. Um... They're not in any particular order, so they're not like in the, the order that I um, made them in. So we're just going to start. So this is the first one. It's in a different album, so I just kind of took it out on its own. Um, but I used um, a Simple Stories collection. I forget what this one was called. Oh, Flea Market. So I used some scraps of paper here and put, yeah, I don't know, just kind of my, this one's kind of my usual like scrapbooking style um this one okay this one has a lot in it I tabbed them all so I'm just gonna do the one first that doesn't have a lot um I think it only has like one or two um if you want to um screenshot anything you are more than welcome to um if you want to scrap lift anything so next one we have here is not that one <laughs> this one here we go when I was filming these videos I had just gotten this collection this is the um one of the new american crafts collections oh rainbow ave that's what it's called um so i made this one i'm surprised i didn't make this one as well but i don't think i did i don't know i can't remember anymore <laughs> that actually might have been a patreon live video anyway so this one's cute just kind of my normal style um and that collection was really fun to play with here again i think this one was one of my first ones actually i think both of these were near the beginning because I wanted to start with some newer products to just kind of start off easy. And I think this looks really cute. Love that Rainbow Aff collection. So I think, oh, we have one more here. Oh, I love this paper. This paper is so cute. It's, um, that's, this is from, I think this one is from Poppy and pair if I'm not mistaken and I just love how it has the cute little bow there so when I first saw that paper when I got this collection I knew that I wanted to use this paper as a background and highlight that bow I just thought it was so cute so I kind of went with like a red or um a pink kind of color scheme there so I'll move this one to the side just move it over here and move that one and here is the rest I do have um, full album flip throughs if you want some inspiration over on my Patreon. That's where I put a bunch of them. Um, so if you want to go check those out, um, I have a free seven day trial. Okay. So this one here is using the Poppy and Pear collection. And this was around Andy's birthday. Uh, about, I think this is a two years ago. I think this album is 2022. And then on this side, um, so I did like Project Life Spreads and Scrapbook Layouts. So um, using up just like random collections, which I don't know, was kind of a good exercise for me to use up those random collections. This is a scrapbook layout, um, again, using Poppy and Pear. Usually, like I've been talking about, the goal has been to use up products, but I did... Um, I feel like these projects are either the most random products from different collections or it's a brand new collection. So here is a brand new collection to me. Here is a random assortment of products. I think this was a project um, 
I had made in a crop and create class and I never finished it and so I just used like what I had from it and like guys you gotta use good adhesive I that's the third thing I have that has fallen off since I started working on making this video and like putting all the bookmark things because things don't stick all the time it's just the way it goes anyway it's kind of a fun background not really my style but I was just trying something new we got Vicky Booten products um actually during this time I uh, met Vicky Booten because her and I um did a collaboration together for a sequin mix for one of her collections so if you want to get your hands on that sequin mix she has it on her website um with like a mini kit if you already have the items and you don't want the other things in the little kit you can um grab it off on my website which will be linked down below so if you like the discover and create um, collection from vicky Booten, or you just like the sequin mix um you can go ahead and check out the mix there use code youtube 20 and you get 20 percent off my website anyway um this is simple stories collection that like crafty collection which i think is so cute i really like the collection and simple stories is coming out with another crafty collection um which is it's a really really cute collection i wish it wasn't so crafty based because i love the colors of it we chat about all this in my patreon if you're a part of my patreon we've probably chatted about this but um i wish it was a little bit less of like crafty icons because i really like the colors of it but i'll probably still get it um next one here is a scrapbook layout um we've got poppy and pear collection again and i use kind of some black accents when i do this challenge i like to try and do the least amount of sewing as possible you can notice that here because the point is to just get projects done i'm not trying to have it take two hours to make it i like to spend about 20 minutes especially because it's a daily challenge i don't want it to take up my whole day i want it to be achievable um, and attainable. So this is my next one. Um, again, we have some poppy and pear and we have some, I think just like things off on my desk or maybe that's, I don't know what collection this bow is from. Um, and then some of the, my story collection from simple stories, still using up the last bits of that. Um, okay. This is some Vicky Booten products. Um, you'll see uh, later in this album, I was using a lot of Vicky Booten because like I said, we did a collaboration during this time and she gave me some of that collection to play with, which was so nice of her. She didn't have to do that. Um, but you can see some layouts I made in here that are some of my favorite layouts of the year, I would say. So anyway, here's the spread. Getting memories documented. That's all we're doing here. This scrapbook layout, I think this one was kind of near the beginning. Another scrapbook layout here, kind of a more um, warm tones color theme. I love this, like, looks like a um, little, like, paint chip sample thing. I love that. I, I, I really like this collection. This one is more Disney themed because I got, like, some Disney candy and chocolate and Disney pins and stuff. So I used some of my Disney themed collections. We have some Vicky Booten products here. Nothing, nothing too much to say about that. And then Vicky Booten products on this side as well. You can see I was trying to use up some scrap papers. Um, this is all done in. That was done. These a bunch of these were done in um, uh, crop and create. So those weren't part of this challenge. What am I trying to say? <laughs> um, this was a wildflower collection from. Simple stories, pretty cute. So I'm not used to doing a 12 by 12 layout. I don't do them a lot. Um, so just, you know, doing my best. Some pictures of us kayaking. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the layouts I made with um, Vicky's brand new collection. And I only had some products. I had like the um, puff, or I don't know if it's her newest collection, Discover and Create, but um, I had the frames, I have like the puffy stickers, I have the six bait paper pad, the word stickers, and I think that's it. Oh, and the stamps. So here we I made this fun little layout with frames, and the frames are what she has in the mini kit with um, the sequin mix that we collaborated on to make like sequin shakers with frames. So cool. Um, so, and that comes with so many frames. I've made so many shakers. 
We have this layout with six of them on there. It's pretty awesome. And then here's a layout I made with um, a paper pad and the different embellishments that I had, some gold paint splatters. These two layouts make me so happy. I love how they turned out. I think this one here was my fa was my first of the collection and it was a six bay paper that I just cut out like this. Oh, I also have the washi tape. She also gave me the washi tape, which is so awesome. Such a good addition to the collection and there's some really cool washi tapes in there that I would highly recommend. Um, I don't usually get washi tape, but I love, I love how these layouts turned out so much. I wish I had the ephemera to kind of boost the products a little bit further for me and the um, cardstock stickers would be nice. I might have to get some of those because it's such a fun collection. I actually really, really love it. It might be one of my favorite Vicky Booten collections. And then these I cut out from a six by eight paper as well and kind of made like a fun background. We have paint splatters, double photos on both of them. And you can see I kind of use similar styles with like the rounded um, title and with the washi tape. Um, both at the bottom and top, two photos, love it. Here we have some Simple Stories collections, fun pattern paper backgrounds. It's hard to use these numbers, so I use these numbers for journaling, and I like the way it turned out. Um, I think it turned out pretty cute. Here, again, that Simple Stories crafty collection, I forget what the exact name is, but um, some pictures of like the cats in my craft room and playing with things and, you know, the usual. And here we have um, just more project life spreads, nothing crazy, just getting projects done, simple stories collections, and other random supplies from my stash. And last but not least, we have another simple story spread using those um, four by six, um, four by six um, cut aparts, that's the word. And that is it. That's all the projects those are all of the projects that I made um in the daily crafting challenge and now I'm going to take out what I used what I used um which isn't a lot I'm not upset about it because like I said I used a lot of new collections but here it is yeah I didn't use much I used one two three four five six things yeah not much um if you actually coming out, actually, I think it would have come out two days ago. I did an empties video with Cheryl and I shared all of the things I used up in the first quarter of the year. Um, and I did use a lot more, um, use up a lot more supplies. But in this challenge specifically, I used up more stuff during the month. But this challenge specifically with this daily crafting challenge, I use this. Now, I know that's kind of confusing, but like my job is crafting, but like this daily crafting challenge was different from like making my normal YouTube videos, Patreon videos. I kept them separate. So this is what I used up just in the daily crafting challenge. Um, and the, and I was still making more crafts during the day, but those were pa for Patreon videos and stuff. So those were different. So hope that makes sense. Um, but just like random little things that were sitting on my desk, uh, labels, enamel dots. I used, this is good. I used up um, some journal bits from the flea market collection. And this was good because this has been sitting on my desk for a while. The bow bunny candy dots. They were little hearts. So you know what? I ended up using some, some good stuff. This has been sitting on my desk forever. So it's stuff that's been sitting there for a long time. But um, definitely didn't use up as much stuff as I did last year. I feel like last year I really did good at stash busting. But overall, I'm happy with the challenge. Like I said, I think I documented like three months worth of photos. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, I am currently in the middle of my 30 days of videos on YouTube. I know I do lots of fun things like that. It's, it's busy. It's busy, but it's good. So I'm doing half on YouTube, half on Patreon. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell so you know what I'm posting. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.